to them about them. Everything would be better when Christ comes back to destroy him. And after she said that, God spoke to me saying, warn my people. And then I woke up from the dream. After I woke up, God spoke again, warn my people. Y'all, I couldn't even get out of bed and I heard it one more time. Warn my people. So God gave three warnings, not just one, not just two, three warnings regarding this dream. That one day I was driving down a dirt road and I seen Obama right before my eyes. And I was driving at, at, a, at a rate, at a speed limit that was so fast that I was gonna end up hitting him. And I was thinking in my mind, he needs to just get out of the way of my, my vehicle because I'm not gonna have time to stop it. And as I hit Obama, because he didn't get out of the way of my vehicle, when I hit him, he turned into a whole bunch of locusts. And the locusts covered my windshield and I couldn't see. And it seems as if I was on a, a path to colliding against something because I couldn't see. And the dream was over. And I knew that that was God. I knew that that was the Holy Spirit telling me that he is not the person that I see him to be. And shortly after I had a dream that something had happened to America, there was something catastrophic that happened to America and there was no leadership. The president, was nowhere to be found. The vice president was nowhere to be found. The secretary of defense was nowhere to be found. And so people were scrambling around like, who should we turn to? Who should we turn to? And all of a sudden, Obama just immersed out of a dark room. He had on a cape and the cape was an American flag. And everybody ran to him and they were like, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the guy, this is the guy that we turn to. This is gonna be the person that is in control now. And in that dream, I felt there was so much deception within Obama. And I felt that everything that he was gonna do was completely destructive and some type of satanic agenda. And uh, my job wrote about this for years now. Anyways, I'm just gonna um, put this out there again. I'm freaking exhausted. Mentally. Spiritually, but it's alright. It's, it's starting to fire back up. But anyways. Back in January 2016, January 7th, 8th, and 9th, I was given visions three days in a row. I mean, literally taken out of my body and placed in the future. I didn't ask for it to happen. I had no idea it was going to happen. And to this day, out of all the terrifying, crazy stuff I have experienced, whenever you have a real visionary encounter with God, like out of the Bible, it breaks you. Uh, it, it, you have no idea. People, everybody thinks God is just this peace-loving hippie. That oh, it's okay. Do what thou wilt. That ain't God, man. God, God is love. But y'all, I've seen both sides of God. Most people can't comprehend that God could be like, could punish people or have discipline. I've seen both sides, and I live in the fear of God because I have experienced the fear of God. I've came up for judgment before God, and to the there is nothing more terrifying, nothing more terrifying. You people have no idea. So if I, if I come off as hard or aggressive, it's because I know the truth, and I'm not I'm not a preacher. I, I don't have to worry about hurting people's feelings so I can say what I want because I answer to God. Yeah, there is other people that I talk to and stuff like that. But anyways, long story short, let me get this off my chest. Back in 2016, I'm just going to tell you two of them because one of them was for me and it's nobody else's business. 
uh, on the first knot. Well, let me do it like this. After in 2015, I bought my first Bible. I had read the Bible before that, after I had died and got resurrected from the dead. I had bought my first Bible. I had read the, I had an old NIV Bible of my mom's that I read through and read through. And anyways, up to this point, I finally broke down and bought my own Bible. Well, I read it, and I, so I sat down and I made myself read it from Genesis all the way to Revelation. Matter of fact, I bought a New Revised Standard Version, which had not only the Old and New Testament, but it had all the apocryphal books in it too. And I sat down and I read that entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation, including the apocryphal books. Say what you want to with them, but there was in the original Bible, so I ain't getting into that debate. Anyways, the very night that I have fin that I finished the last chapter, last verse of Revelation 22, I laid down, and for three nights, I had an encounter with God that put the straight terror of God in me. It put, it broke me to where I couldn't hardly get out of bed. It about made me physically sick. The first night I was taken out of my body and I came up on this place and I was on a boat in the middle of the ocean. And I could taste the salt water. I could feel the salt in the air. I could smell it. And I'm looking and I'm looking around and all of a sudden I look up and I see this giant huge rock come cra come crashing and barreling out of the sky and right as it's about to hit the water in the ocean right in front of me it stops and I'm looking at it like oh my god and then poof, back into my body I went that was the first night I mean when I came back in the body it shook my bed man all right the second night I went to bed I'm pretty much even scared to go to sleep but I finally went to sleep Whenever I found, as soon as I went out, I was I was praying in tongues to go to sleep. So I was like, you know what, maybe if I just go to bed worshiping and praising God, I'll go to sleep and sleep peacefully. Well, the second night, as I was praying in tongues, I went out. And instead of going to sleep, next thing I know, I'm getting jerked out of my body again. And I'm placed somewhere in the future. And the only thing I know to tell anybody is it looks like I was in Valdez. I'm not 100% sure where I was at, but I was walking around and there was people gathered around walking. And I'm looking, and all of a sudden I heard this like loud crack in the sky. And I looked up, and the whole sky just turns jet black, purple looking, crazy looking, man. And as I'm looking, like the whole sky just goes this crazy purple, reddish, almost apocalyptic looking color. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, like this stone face of like a pharaoh pops up. And then it goes out of the way, and then the entire sky turns into like a movie projection. I don't, you know, like an entire movie screen. And as I watch, there's a stage appears on the, in the sky, for it, and the entire world sees it. As I'm looking, I'm seeing people looking around freaking out like, oh my God, they're stunned by what they're seeing. And as I'm seeing this, I'm looking, and this stage appears in the sky, and it was inside of some temple. And there's this huge throne sitting on the stage, and I look. And they was uh, statues that what looked like Shiva, like uh, uh, it looked like it looked like Shiva, the guy with the multiple arms and the swords and stuff. There were statues like that on the stage. And then as I looked, there was these people dressed in black robes with black hoods came out, and they was walking like this. And they came out and they encircled this throne, and there was a man sitting on the throne. And as I looked, this man was dressed like a pharaoh. He had all the Egyptian-looking garb on. He even had like the little like circle looking Egyptian like pharaoh hat on and everything and I watched and as I'm seeing this there's a man comes walking out behind him dressed in a white robe and as I look at the man in the white robe with his little white hat on I notice it's the Pope and the Pope came out carrying a gold crown with jewels on it and many diadems on it and as he walks out the man sitting on the throne reaches up takes his hat off places it in his lap and as he does that, the man in the white robe, the Pope, walks up behind him and places that gold crown on his head. And as I look, the man sitting on the, thro on the throne that was dressed like a pharaoh was Barack Obama. He was older, he had white hair, and his face, he looked like he'd been through some hard times. He was older looking, he just looked, honestly, he almost looked greenish. Like a blackish green, it's like he, he looked like death. But it was Barack Obama. And... The Pope placed a gold crown on his head, and when he did, I looked, and all these people in black robes gathered around him, started chanting all this crazy stuff, 
And as soon as that crew